So here is a here is a small experiment to understand the idea of center of gravity. So we are trying to balance a record book uh, on top of a pen cap. So let's try it. Okay, so we're not able to balance it. Uh, so to perfectly balance this, we need to find uh, what we call as a center of mass. And to find the center of mass, we need to uh, we need to mark the diagonals of this rectangle. So let's do that. So so mark the mark the diagonals. Okay, the other diagonal. All right, uh, so at exactly the meeting point of these diagonals is where the center of mass of this record book is. And we will try to balance it now uh, on top of a cap. And you see that this book is perfectly balanced on top of a cap. So that's the idea of center of mass. Um, at when, when you hold it at center of mass, the net torque against all the 360 degrees is balanced. That means there is a torque on this side is balanced with torque on that side, uh, is balanced with torque on this side, is balanced with torque on this side. So this and this side torque balance, this side and that side torque balance. So this two dimensional shape is perfectly balanced. The same way, the same way as we balance the record book, we can try to find out center of mass for any two dimensional laminar sheet. So here is one sheet that we have. Uh, this is a two-dimensional laminar sheet. And so we can, and the center of mass is somewhere here. So we're going to do a small experiment to find out how to find the center of mass for an irregular laminar shape like this. So let's do that. So to do this, first we're going to take a, take a weird looking heart. And um, we're going to make three random holes uh, in this cardboard. So that's hole number one. Any 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 three holes in random positions. Um, but we make these holes such that we know that the center of mass is uh, within these three holes. Okay, so let's make the third hole. All right, so we have made these three holes. So to start this activity, we uh, we hang that cardboard piece into yeah into uh, into this stick, and we put up a plumb line. A plumb line is a nothing but a simple weight. All right, okay. So now uh, we let the oscillation stop. We let this oscillation stop, and once. We have the oscillation stop. We mark a, a line against the thread. Yep, yep. We mark the line against the thread. Now we take we take the whole thing out and hang it against another hole. We hang it against another hole. Yes. And this can be any random hole. And we put the plumb line again, right? So we let this, we, we, we stop the oscillation and we, we hold this. Yes, we hold this and we mark a line again. All right. Okay, so this two lines meet and this meeting point is our center of gravity. But to confirm this, uh, what we can do is we can now take this and hang it on the third hole and and mark and put the pivot again. And interestingly, what you will see is, is this thread is now going through the intersection of the previous two lines. So now let's draw the third line as well. All right. Now the meeting point of all these three lines that we got is actually our center of gravity. Now let's try to balance this board against this point. Now you can see that 
that weird looking heart, we have found the center of gravity or the center of mass. Um, it's perfectly balanced at that point. Um, so that means that the net uh, torque on all the two dimension is balanced. So if there is some torque on this side, there is a torque on that side, and if there's a torque here, there's a torque there, and so on. So net-net, uh, the torque is balanced. Uh, the net torque is zero uh, against the center of mass. And that's the definition of center of mass. In the same way, we can have three-dimensional objects, and we can have center of mass for those three-dimensional objects. So these are toys that must be very familiar with you. For, you know, you must have seen this. And, you know, what this means is uh, the center of mass of this toy is where it rests on the finger. And this toy and here and finally of this one. So the center of mass is exactly where it's, uh, it's resting and it's perfectly balanced. And the net torque all around the center of mass for that object is zero.